Fourier series. We consider a periodic but otherwise arbitrary function f of t. Its period t. Know that this is completely general. For example, you can also consider non-periodic functions f of t in the limit of infinite period t. The basic idea is to decompose periodic function f of t into harmonics with fundamental frequency given by 2 pi over period t. In other words, we seek to write f of t as a sum of c sub n times e i n omega t, where n varied from minus infinity to plus infinity, an integer. Omega in this expression is the fundamental frequency. We need a couple of definitions to make our job easier. First, we want to define orthogonal functions. We say that function g of t and h of t are orthogonal if, on a given interval, the integral g of t times complex conjugate of h of t dt is zero. In analogy with vectors, we can see that functions i raised to power of n omega t, they form an orthogonal set. What it means is that the integral of these functions from arbitrary time t0 to t0 plus capital T, the period, which is written as i n omega t times complex conjugate of i, and now we use another integer m omega t dt, will in fact be 0 whenever m is not equal to n, or t when m is equal to n. Let's rewrite the decomposition form that we are trying to apply. Let us multiply both the right hand side and the left hand side by E minus I M omega T. And let's integrate both sides from T naught to T naught plus capital T. where we will use the fact that functions i, e, omega, and t are orthogonal whenever m is not equal to index n. So what that means, on the right hand side, only coefficient c sub m survives. Therefore, we will have that c sub m is given as 1 over period t integral from arbitrary t naught to t naught plus period t e raised to power of minus i m omega t omega the fundamental frequency f of t times dt. This gives us the expression for the coefficient in the Fourier series. Additional thing to know that if function f of t is real, then the sum of Fourier series will be symmetric with respect to n. In other words, c with the subscript of minus n will be simply c sub n complex conjugate. Thus, we can write f of t as a real part of the series 
taken from n equals to 0 all the way to infinity. Coefficient cn tilde e raised to power of i n omega t, where our c tilde sub zero will be just c sub zero in terms of the previous definition, and c sub n tilde will be given to twice c sub n for all n greater than zero. We can see that this comes from rewriting the infinite series in terms of coefficient c naught plus sum from n equals 1 to infinity given by c sub n e i omega n t plus c minus n e minus i omega n t. This term here is complex conjugate of the first term which will give us twice the real part of C sub n times E i n omega t.